Coach has kind of talked about today about how you've had a great fall so far, a great camp. What did you really do this fall to make to make your, put yourself in that position? Uh, really, I just focused a lot more. Um, you know, we sat down with the coaches after the spring, and uh, I wouldn't say that I got the results from the coaches that I wanted, that I didn't want, but um, you know, I just kind of felt like I needed to step it up a little bit more. You know, it's my junior season, and I got two years under my belt and one year starting, so I kind of felt like I needed to bring something new to the table and come out like a true junior should. What is that, what is that experience? What have you picked up from that now that you do have those couple years under your belt? Uh, really, I, I feel that it just brings a lot more preparation, you know, a lot more experience. And uh, with that, that'll allow me to be more uh, decisive on the field and play a lot better. What do you want to be defined by as a player? Like, uh, you know, when people describe you, what, what would you prefer their description include? I've always felt that I want to be a, a ball hawk, you know, whether that's in the air or on the ground. Uh, you know, somebody who just sniffs the ball out from back there, you know. Uh, that's what most good safeties and most good defensive players are known as, somebody who can go sideline to sideline, get the ball, get to to the ball, wherever it is. And that's, that's what I feel like a defensive player should be known. Yeah. What kinds of things, when you reviewed the film from last year, did you feel like you could have done or could do better? Uh, I personally think I could have done a lot better with the tight ends. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, obviously I'm a target. I'm 190. But I, I have to do something about that while I'm on the field. You know, I have to get stronger and play a lot faster since that's what I'm good at. So when I'm down there with those tight ends, I have to use everything to my advantage and play a lot better like that. How have you settled into that role at right guard? It seems like you've gotten pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's uh, I like it. You know, I have some experience in the old line and uh, being out there. So, you know, you go out there and play in big stadium, big time stadiums with 100,000 fans, you can try to adjust to anything out there. What have you kind of done to put yourself in position to potentially start uh, come Cincinnati game? Um, you know, everyone's out there just doing their job out there, and you know the final starting uh, position is up to the coaches. So that's all up to Coach Bridge and Coach Hazel. How about your patience? You've been here now. This is your fifth year. You kind of been in and out. Had an injury here and there, kind of nag you throughout your career, but you've kind of stuck with it. But just take me through that whole process, the year by year. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I, it's kind of like when people ask me what it's like to be short. You know, I really don't know. I've been injured pretty much since freshman year. Uh, and I've been kind of battling through that the whole time. So I don't really know what it's like not to be, you know. Um, but it's, you know, everything's coming along, and, you know, my progress is all monitored by Doug Borsma. So talk to him if he wants some more updates on that. How about the uh, depth of the offensive line? You guys have some older experience, and then at the same time a lot of young guys pushing you older guys. Uh, it's great. You know, it, uh, it definitely throws in some curveballs in there, and it keeps everyone on their toes and keeps them thinking, keeps them pushing hard. And, you know, trying to get better every day and, and being that, you know, some of the guys are older than others where it's easier to, you know, come out and be a leader and motivate them. And in the same way, they're, they're setting an example by, you know, or leading us by example. So it's all working out really well for us, I think. What is the number one thing you need to work on going into the Cincinnati game and how close do you think you guys are as an offensive line? Uh, you'd have to talk to Coach Bridge about how, how close we are. We you know we all just do our job out there. And I say, you know, we all do our job and, and trust that each other are doing our job. We'll be just fine.